President Zelensky will address the United Nations Security Council in his latest address overnight. Zelensky claims Russian forces, and get this, this could be disturbing, this could be um, something unfathomable, unfathom uh, that he says that the Russians are committing atrocities beyond even the Nazis in the 1940s. Uh, quite the emotional statement. He says, while the situation outside of Ukraine's capital in the town of Busha is grim, the reality could be much worse in other Ukrainian cities. New this morning, Ukraine says Russia is regrouping its troops, preparing for an offensive in Donbas with the goal to establish full control over the Donetsk and Luhansk regions. Allison Harris live at the White House right now with the Biden administration responding to all of this. Allison. Yeah, good morning, Adrian. Overnight, somehow, an even more grim picture of the brutality in Ukraine. Ukrainian President Zelensky saying the civilian deaths are not just in Bucha, but in other liberated cities as well, and possibly even worse there, as he prepares to give an address to world leaders this morning. And we have to warn you, these images are incredibly difficult to see, but important, as Zelensky is calling for hundreds more journalists to go to Ukraine to document what is happening to his people. President Zelensky will address the U.N. Security Council for the first time this morning after surveying carnage in cities outside the capital, Kyiv, Monday. As there's mounting evidence of Russian atrocities, images of what appear to be deliberate killings and torture, civilians with their hands tied behind their back. As Ukrainian officials say more than 400 bodies have been removed from the area that's destroyed and left behind by Russian forces. Zelensky calling it genocide and warning it could be even more widespread than what we're seeing in these images from Bucha. In many villages of the liberated districts of Kyiv, Chernyiv, and Sumy regions, the occupiers did things that the locals had not seen even during the Nazi occupation 80 years ago. President Biden saying Russian President Putin should face trial for war crimes. This guy is brutal, and what's happening in Bucha is outrageous, and everyone's seen it. We have to gather all the detail so this can be an actual have a war crime trial. The U.S. working closely with the Ukrainian prosecutor general to collect evidence as the International Criminal Court investigates. And the U.S. will argue to the U.N. General Assembly that Russia should be removed from the Human Rights Council, asking for a vote this week. President Biden and his national security advisor vowing new sanctions together with allies this week as Russian forces aren't retreating but repositioning. The Russians have now realized that the West will not break. At this juncture, we believe that Russia is revising its war aims. Russia is repositioning its forces to concentrate its offensive operations in eastern and parts of southern Ukraine, rather than target most of the territory. All indications are that Russia will seek to surround and overwhelm Ukrainian forces in eastern Ukraine. Russia denies any civilian killings, trying to turn this on Ukraine. More of the same from Russia, saying that the accusations are provocation by the Ukrainian government. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.